Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Today we're going to take a look at digital tattoos, both adding and removing them. So a lot of times if you're shooting somebody, they may ask you to, hey, remove this tattoo, or you may absolutely have to, uh, depending on what you're doing, but it's definitely a skill that you need to know. Adding a tattoo, maybe not so much a skill you need to know, but kind of a fun thing to do sometimes if you're kind of messing around with some friends or uh, just, you know, hacking around in Photoshop. So let's take a look at how to do both of those things. Both of them are pretty easy to do. Removing a tattoo can be tricky, especially with an image like this. Uh, you're going to see here, we're just going to remove the part of the tattoo that is to the right side of the strap, uh, like so. Uh, now, removing the rest of it would be quite difficult. As you can see, if I remove the tattoo altogether, her back has a lot of darks and lights. So that's going to make it kind of difficult to do. But for the most part, you're not usually going to have to remove a tattoo from an image like this. Usually, it's going to be off of a, a sort of a solid chunk of skin out here uh, where it's going to be pretty easy to do. And using the techniques we're going to use uh, here to get it off of her shoulder, uh, you'll, you'll have no problem getting tattoos off of uh, skin by the end of this video. So let's go ahead and close this down. There we go. Nah, I'm not going to save it. I'm going to hop over to Bridge. That'd be Command, Option, or Control, Alt, O. That's going to open up Bridge for me. And I just want to grab Wedding.jpg and Tattoo.psd, drag them right into Photoshop. Let's uh, minimize the bridge. All right, here with our image, the first thing we want to do is uh, duplicate the image by going Image Duplicate. Hit OK. And we want to desaturate this image and save it. So Command Shift or Control Shift U, hotkey for desaturating. Then Command Shift or Control Shift S to save as. We're going to save it as a PSD and uh, we're going to name it Displace. There we go. We can now close that. All right. So back here with our original wedding image. Grab the Tattoo.psd and uh, hit V, which is your move tool. Now. You can just select whatever it is you have, drag it right up to the wedding.jpg tab or your image tab right up there at the top. Drop it in the new image, and we want to size this down uh, quite a bit. So Command or Control T, hold down my Shift and Alt keys or Shift and Option if you're on the Mac. Pull this in. Let's make it to about that big and move it to about right there. All right, now that we've done that, hit enter or return to commit those changes, and we are ready to apply a displace filter to this logo or this tattoo. I'm going to go filter, blur, or excuse me, distort, displace. And uh, under the displace dialog box, we want to choose horizontal and vertical scale, both set to 10. Displacement map stretch to fit. We're not going to have to worry about that though, so just stretch to fit is fine. Repeat edge pixels uh, for undefined areas and hit OK. Double click on displace.psd. And you can see that uh, it doesn't really look like a whole lot's been done, but if we zoom in, we can see that our artwork has, in fact, been sort of bent and altered. We've got an orange strip right here along this uh, wedding dress strap. So the first thing we want to do is get rid of the tattoo that covers up the strap, because obviously uh, you're not going to tattoo right over a piece of clothing, uh, as if I needed to say that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is shut the tattoo layer off, select the background layer, and I'm going to grab the quick selection tool uh, right here. And I'm going to begin painting from the top. I'm going to begin painting straight down along the strap, just like that, down into the dress area. It's going to select the bulk of the dress area, uh, which is fine. We really don't need to be worried about down there. It's mainly the strap we are concerned with. And I'm going to hit Control Shift on the Mac to be Command Shift I. And I'm going to zoom out. And what that's done, you can see it's selected everything except this little dress area. So I'm going to turn my tattoo layer back on and just hit the new layer mask button. You can see that that's going to mask away the part of our tattoo that is on top of the strap. So now it looks like it just travels right underneath it. Perfect. And the last thing you have to do is really simple. Simply duplicate the layer, Command or Control J, shut the top layer off, select the bottom layer, set the blend mode to saturation. You can see it just basically sticks this gray blob of fleshy stuff on her back, uh, for lack of a more descriptive word. We're going to turn on the layer above that and set it to overlay. And we're just going to simply reduce the opacity a little bit. Uh, there we go. Looks pretty natural like that. All right, now that we've done that, we have learned how to apply a tattoo. How do, how do we get rid of one? Well, typically you're not going to have a nice layered object or layered image. Uh, so you can just say, hey, there we go, got rid of the tattoo, and that didn't take very long. No, not going to be that easy in real life. So what we want to do is, first off, let's unlock this background layer or unbackgroundify this uh, background layer by holding on the Alter Option key and just double clicking it right there. It's converting it to a regular layer. And holding on the Shift key and selecting the top layer, we are going to 
hit Control Shift Alt. If you're on the Mac, that'd be Command Shift Option and E. That's going to merge all these layers into a new layer. You should see we still have these layers here, which I'm actually going to select like that and hit Command or Control G to group them and shut the group off. You can see now we have one layer, and it's as if we just took this photograph and she had this tattoo on her back. We want to get rid of it. Now, we're only going to get rid of the part of the tattoo here to the right of this strap. Uh, the rest, as I mentioned earlier, it's going to be pretty difficult to get it out of an area like that. Uh, you're going to spend quite a bit of time, so we're not going to spend that kind of time here. What I'm going to do is zoom in on this. Now, my tool of choice is the healing brush. Not the spot healing brush, the healing brush. That's the healing brush that you actually need to sample a region with, kind of like the clone stamp tool. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to downsize this brush a little bit using my bracket keys. The bracket keys are right there to the right of your P key. Hold my older option key and select a bit of skin uh, right over here. And I'm just going to start painting over this tattoo. Now, the thing you want to be careful with when you are uh, painting with the healing brush is you just want to be careful whatever area your brush goes over. You can see how there's sort of a, a light, almost white blue uh, color. That's because part of my brush went over that strap. Not particularly the part that was being painted, but the boundary of my brush. So I'm going to undo that. And I don't want to work with quite such a soft brush. So I'm going to uh, increase the hardness of my brush a bit. All right, and you can do that just coming up here and just you know, increasing the hardness. Let's say around 75%. That should make our life a little bit easier. Sample from right here on our arm again. And uh, let's begin our painting process. All right, paint over that and get as close as you can. You're not going to be able to get completely up against it. And we're still going to have a little, you can see I, I still touch too much of the white. So undo that again. And we're going to stay a, a good, nice distance away this time around. All right, there we go. Got that part done. Let's come in with a second uh, batch of healing. There we go. We're going to have black. Don't worry about that. Now what you might want to do is open up the group and just control click our mask. We just want to zoom out. You can see our mask. We're selecting everything but that strap. So what we have now, typically you would have to create this selection, uh, but we already have that selection created. Grab that healing brush again and uh, let's just start painting over this whole messy area. And you can see we got a little bit uh, too much up there at the top. So we're going to touch that up real quick, like so. There we have it. And you can see there still are some light areas here. Uh, we're going to touch them up with the Dodge and Burn tools. So Burn tool with Protect Tones checked on. I'm just going to run along that just a little bit. Uh, you may want to take the Clone Stamp tool if things get really messy and just you know sort of touch it up a little in there with that. And then you can go in with the Spot Healing Brush. All right, set even smaller, like this, maybe three or four, and we're just going to begin just sort of blending this in. And remember, you just don't want to run over any of that white because that's going to really mess us up. All right, there we go. Blend, blended nicely. All right, so there we go. You can see we've successfully removed the tattoo from that part of her shoulder. Could you still use a little work up there? But, you know, maybe one last thing you might want to do is just use the burn tool and just throw a very light shadow right through here. So reduce the exposure to something like 10 and just right through there, just a very, very light shadow uh, just to sort of mimic uh, the way the light would be cast across her back or arm, whatever. And there we have it. We've removed the tattoo successfully. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, this is kind of an extreme case. You're not normally going to have to remove it from something this difficult. Usually, it's just going to be like a spot out here in the middle of the arm. If that's the case, it's going to be a breeze. Just use that healing brush, paint over it, be careful of where you sample and all of that good stuff, and uh, you'll have it removed in no time flat. So that's how I add and remove digital tattoos. I hope you learned something from this uh, tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please go check out the site. That's www.tutvid.com. Thank you for watching.